So I want to show you an example of how to do this homework uh, on transformation of linear functions. Basically you have three problems to do. You're going to be given a, a function with a graph and you have to answer several questions. So there's uh, one, two, three different functions that you're going to do the same thing on. You don't have to print this page. You can just write these answers on a separate sheet of paper. And then um, on these, um, you're given some information. You have to write an equation of a line. So I'm going to show you uh, how to do a couple of these. We'll start with this this one on this page. Um, equation of the line is the graph y equals x. So this is the same as, so in the form y equals mx plus b. This has a slope of 1, which is up 1 over 1, and a y-intercept is uh, equal to 0. There it is at 0. So uh, on the same grid, we want to graph a parallel line that's 3 units above it. So this is 3 units up. It's actually a, a vertical translation. 1, 2, 3, up. 1, 2, 3. 1, 2, 3. And if you notice the pattern, it follows along. Since it's a parallel line, it is also going to have a slope of 1. It's just going to have a different y-intercept. Parallel lines have the same slope, a different y-intercept. So we've got part A done. Write the equation for the new line in slope-intercept form. So y equals, the slope is 1, uh, then we just put an x. The slope is always the coefficient in front of the x variable. And then our y-intercept is 3 units above 0, or just 3. Now normally you don't put the 1 in here in front of the x, so we would just write y equals x plus 3. That's what this equation is. And that would be our answer. Write the y-intercept of the new line as an ordered pair. So remember the y-intercept as an ordered pair. The x value comes first, which is 0, and the y value is 3. So the ordered pair for the y-intercept is 0, zero 3. The x-intercept of the new line. The x-intercept is where the line crosses the x-axis, which is right here. 1, 2, 3. So that is negative 3 in the x-direction, and it's at y equals 0 in the y-direction. That's the x-intercept. All right, write the equation of the new line in point-slope form using the y-intercept. So to use point-slope form, you need two things. You need a point, and you need a slope. All right, our point is the y-intercept, which is 0, 3. The slope is 1. So we're going to use the form. Let's recall the form. y equals m times x minus x sub 1 plus y sub 1. So let's put that in here. What do we have? y equals the slope, which is 1, and then x minus x sub 1, which is 0, plus y, which is 3. So I really don't need this 1 in front, because multiplying by 1, you don't really have to show anything. I don't need the minus 0. I don't need to show that. So basically, I just get here y equals x plus 3. Now, technically, you could write it this way as a point-slope form, but once you simplify these things, it just becomes x plus 3, which is the um, slope-intercept form. This is a special case where it comes out to look exactly the same. Next part, write the equation of the new line in point-slope form using the x-intercept. The x-intercept is negative 3, 0. So let's write that in point-slope form. Slope is still 1. There's our point. We're going to use this form. I'm going to squeeze it in over here. So we got y equals 1 times x minus negative 3, and then plus the y value, which is 0. So let's clean that up. A negative uh, minus a negative is the same as a positive. I don't need to write the 1, so I get y equals x plus 3. So it looks the same. Again, this version is technically the point-slope form, just as this one was the point-slope form uh, before. These all work out to be the same uh, 
same line, same equation when you clean it up. Now on other problems where there's not so many zeros and a slope of 1, you will get uh, slightly different looking answers. So on problems 2 and 3, it'll look a little different. All right, the last question. Explain in what way the equations are the same and in which way they are different. So um, they're the same in that um, they always end up uh, representing the same line here with a slope of 1 and an intercept of 3. Um, when you're building it, you can... Uh, in these forms, you can you can see the slope separately here and here. You can see the point that is included in the equation with these two values. Um, even though this becomes a positive 3, you have to think of the opposite sign. So the x value is negative 3, the y value is 0 on the point of interest. In this case, the x value is 0 and the y value is positive 3 on the point of interest. So point-slope form uses a slope and a single point. The slope-intercept form uses the slope and the intercept just straight up. Sometimes you might have to calculate the slope on your own. You remember the equation for slope, y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. Um, you use that if you weren't given the slope or you didn't have a graph to work with. Okay. Um, so you'll do a similar thing with 2 and 3. Those will be a little bit more challenging than the one we just did, but that's okay. And then on problems 11 through 16, what you need to do is to write an equation of line for each situation. Use any form that you want to. Um, so here we have a slope and a point, so that lends itself nicely to the um, slope um, uh, point-slope form. Look at this one. We just have two points. So I would probably use the slope-intercept method, but i got to calculate the slope. This one, you're given two intercepts. Just change those to ordered pairs. The x-intercept would be that. The y-intercept would be 0, negative 3. You'd have to calculate the slope, just like you would on this one, and then write your equation. Um, we'll go from there. Let's um, Actually, let's do number 15. That one's kind of interesting. Our slope is 1 half, and we have an x-intercept of 5. The x-intercept of 5 means the point 5, 0 is on the graph. So I'm going to use point-slope version. y equals the slope, 1 half, times x minus the x-value, 5, plus the y-value, 0. So I can leave it just like this. If you wanted to, you could distribute the 1 half, but there's really no need to. I would just leave it just like that. Uh, let's do one where we have to calculate the slope. I'll do number 12. We've got to calculate the slope, so I'm going to do y2, just 2, minus y1, negative 3, over x2, 6, minus x1, 11. So 2 minus negative 3 is positive 5. 6 minus 11 is negative 5. My slope is negative 1. Now I'm going to pick a point to use with this. I can actually pick either point that I want. I'm going to choose point Q because it's all positive numbers, and I would rather use all positive numbers. You can actually use either one. So here we get y equals negative 1, my slope, times x minus the x value, 6, plus the y value, 2. Now you can clean that up if you want, but you can also just leave it in that form. If you had chosen the other point, you would get a different looking equation. I'm actually going to do it here, but it, they would be the same equivalent equation. So here I'd get y equals the slope of negative 1 times x minus 11 plus negative 3. Actually, I am going to, let's clean those up just to prove that they come out to be the same. So if I distribute the negative 1, I get uh, y equals negative x, and then plus 6, and plus 2. y equals negative x plus 8. Let's do this one. y equals negative 1 plus 11 minus 3. I forgot my x there. So y equals negative x plus 8. Same. These are two different um, 
point slope versions, but they both come out to be the same exact slope intercept version. All of these represent the same exact line. All right, so please do the rest of your homework. I'll post the answer key if you need a little bit of help, and you can submit those in Canvas when you're finished. Thanks. Have a great day.